Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Nintendo Gamer, and welcome to my new Let's Play of... Sonic Unleashed! Aw, oh, yeah! Alright guys, I knew, you knew, you had to see it coming. You know me, I'm a huge Sonic junkie nerd, and I haven't played a Sonic game for over a year. Or let's play the Sonic game in over a year since Sonic Generations on the 3DS, and I thought, you know what? It's time to do a console Sonic game. So I thought, you know what? Let's do the underdog game. Let's do Sonic Unleashed. Alright, there we go. So yeah, this is one of my personal favorite Sonic games besides Generations and Colors. This one being third. Color, colors being second and Generations being third. Because this game got me really, really into the boosting mechanic and trying to speed run. But I'm going to be quiet here because we got a cutscene coming up right now.
manuscripts were told. The entity that was sealed within the planet has awakened. Now I just need to harness its power. Eggman Land will finally come to be. <laughs> you really gone and done it this time, Eggman. Ah, oh, Sonic, that's a good look for you. Test it. So long, friend. <laughs> I gotta say, guys, that's one hell of an introduction to a game. But yeah, like I said, this is the game that got me into the Sonic Boost and Speed Rushing stuff. I got, I remember getting it for Christmas and I was stoked. But I've got to be quiet again because there's another cutscene! <laughs> Holy mother of cutscenes! Finally, we get into some gameplay. Here we go! That was my favorite part about this game. Oh, yeah! I freaking love this game! Yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> speed! I am speed! Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I'm having so many fond memories right now. 
Oh my gosh, I'm about to cry. I love this game so much. This got me into Sonic so much after I played this game. Oh my gosh, I just love the eject- Come on! Stop ruining the moment, game! What the- Okay, am I Oh, that's right, I can't- oh, okay. Let's jump, and there we go. I'm so used to other Sonic games. X is the homing attack, not the jump button. That's awkward. So let's try to get a good score. Oh jeez. <laughs> We're not getting nice rank now. But yeah, oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be playing this game again. I miss this feeling of adrenaline. Oh my gosh. I know people hate it because of the werehog stages and stuff, but I actually like the werehog stages and why do I keep doing that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I can't contain myself. But we're gonna get god awful right now. Uh, but yeah, if you guys can't tell, I'm excited to let's play this game. Oh my good lord. But yes, okay, let's not jump over the hurdle this time. Was that so hard for me? No, it wasn't. Probably gonna get like a B rank. Yep. How did I know? But yeah, super short stage, getting us into it. And we don't have enough XP for this game. But what's neat is that this game introduces XP where you can level up your um, speed and boost bar, which I thought was really cool. But yeah, I just, oh my god, I'm so happy to play this game. This is my favorite, one of my favorites. And the Sonic Rush games are awesome for introducing boosts too. What do you figure that was all about? The hair, and those arms, and, and look at the Chaos Emeralds! So, is this what you usually look like? Yeah, this is the real me. Pretty cool, huh? Huh? Where'd you go? Oh. Looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. That there chocolate chip cream Sunday Supreme is the pride of the city. <laughs> the whole world can come tumbling down, but they'll still line up for a taste. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh, so it's hey! just like, so it's just like, your memories? lol. Ah, uh, oh, I'm so happy to play this game. Chip Sunday Supreme. <laughs> you said it. Enjoy it, kiddo. Satisfaction guaranteed. If you don't love it, you get your money back. Hey! Oh, I love it! Hello. And they both enjoy ice cream. Mm -hmm. Wow, this chip whatever stuff is great. Chip whatever stuff. Say so. Lol. How about you give me a hand and help look for somebody who knows you, Chip? Chip? Gotta call you something, don't I? What do you think? Yeah, Chip. Chip. I love it. Yum. Now, what do you say we start asking around and see if anybody here knows you? Okay. And thus their adventure starts. Alright, guys. I'm back. Talking to a cousin slash friend. Good friend of mine. And uh, now I'm back. We're going to get back into some more Sonic Unleashed. Well, when we're up here, travelers, what a pleasant surprise. Hmm? Trying to figure out which way to go? Not an easy choice. If you continue straight ahead, you will come to the entrance stage. I have an inkling that it leads to your future. Thanks, I'll take a look. An enthusiastic response? May good fortune smile upon thee. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna go over here then. But yeah, I'm sorry if this video is cutscene, 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 cutscene. But into this intro to this game is very cutscene heavy. Looks like we can get to a bunch of places through here. Whoops, play. Hmm, something shining? I wonder what it does. Now I'm all curious. Alright, but anyway, these are the area hu world level hubs, I guess you could call them. There's one of these in every uh, country. Hint, hint, you're going to be going to very many countries. This is Apatos, if I'm pronouncing it right. And every country has one of these hub levels where you have to do levels. So this is Apatos Act 2 or Windmill Island Act 2. Apatos is the name of the country. So we're going to jump right in. 
so yes, once again, I apologize if there if this episode's really cutscene heavy. But to make up for that, it's going to be around 27 minutes, or maybe I'll just make it a half hour long or 35 minutes long, since I can record a lot of time. Here we go! Oh my God, I love this game! So happy to be let's playing it. Oh cool, we got some metal. Oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna burst with happiness. I'm just so freaking happy we're doing this game. There we go, take this way. Sonic, what are you doing? Stop! No, I'm kidding. Oh my gosh, I'm just... <laughs> Holy cow! 900 miles per hour. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna cry, I'm so happy. Oh boy, we are grinding. Oh jeez. That was a close one. Oh, there's a metal back there. Oh jeez, that- oh! Wow, I didn't know you could die there. Bum bum. Whoops! <laughs> ha! No boost for Sonic! Haha, <laughs> we can't boost! Go! Oh my gosh, we almost missed that. Oh my gosh! 1,182 miles per hour! What? Oh, come on. We have to at least get an S rank on, one, on my second favorite stage. Yes, F Windmill Island is my favorite stage, just music-wise, really. What the hell, man? Oh my gosh, this is ruining the experience. Rage! No, I'm kidding. Oh, wow, we didn't even get to go up this time. Oh, well. No, I'm not even jumping there. Not even gonna jump. Okay. The little jingle when you uh, pull off those ramps perfectly. Whenever I was playing the game in the den, my mom would think that was our doorbell ring because we literally have a built very similar doorbell. Ooh, metal. And every time I would pull off those things perfectly, she'd think someone was at our front door. So I thought that was funny. Oh jeez, that was bad. Oh, ow, that would hurt. That was a really bad run. Oh my gosh. The D D D D D D. Oh, C. Well, that was okay. As you can see, we got some experience from that, so I'm gonna level up our speed. So yeah, so now Sonic will run faster, not so we run faster while boosting. So that's cool. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this longish video to open up this awesome let's play. Alright, we got another cutscene and oh no, it's dark again. No hmm. Still no luck finding anyone who knows me. Don't worry about it. Maybe your memory will come back on its own. Remember anything yet? Mm, nope. Oh well. Oh no. Spooky! <gasps> Sonic? Guy is back. 
So when the sun goes down, I turn into this? Are you okay, Sonic? I'm fine. I just need to be careful who sees me like this. Sonic! Sonic, look! What is it? Oh, it's hopeless! <laughs> the whole planet is split apart! We're doomed! <laughs> mister? Oh. Hey, mister! Hey, don't cry! Uh, ice cream! How about some more of this super tasty stuff? What good is ice cream at a time like this? <laughs> Go, Mr. Fantastic Powers! Lol. Sonic, your arm just stretched! Lol, Chip trying to pull his arm. But it could be useful. We have Mr. Fantastic Powers! No, I'm kidding. But yes, the Werehog can stretch his arms and use claw and punching attacks. Also, holding R2 allows you to do this sprint running thing. So obviously, your first nature is you're going to want to go do the Werehog stages. So yes, the second part of this game, Werehog stages. So yes, you have day stages where you can run as fast as the speed of sound, and then you have Werehog stages where you can beat the crap out of everything. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But... Yeah, but the main difference is that Werehog Sonic has a health meter. So, it doesn't matter how many rings you have. You can have zero rings, but you have a health meter in this game, which I found awesome. So basically, Werehog Sonic kind of plays like a third-person beat-em-up, really. Which is really cool. So we're going to get into some of this action. So here we go. Oh, look, it's our friend. Looks like we gotta go help our buddy. Ready? Yeah! Rah! Let's scream at the top of our lungs. Fred went out that way, Sonic. Quick, let's go after him. Alright, let's go save Tails. Bam! Knock down a fence, cause we don't give two crowds. So here we have little monsters. Dark spawns of Dark Gaia. These are the easiest. There's an earthquake! Oh god! See that bright side that comes out of the enemies you beat? I call it Dark Gaia. Hey, they're ripping off Dark Eco from Jack and Daxter. Lol. Anyway, once the unleash meter is full, we basically do like double, triple damage and stuff. Which is cool. So now we're gonna get the final play our first nap time stage. So let's knock down this fence. Jump in here! Boom! Come at me, bro! My mom also thought that was a doorbell, too. Oh, jeez. Ow! Ow! That's the other bad thing. If you mess up those things, they can attack you and get their health back. Yeah, my mom thought that was a doorbell, too. Whoa! Anyway, so they drop yellow jabs. We already know that's experience. Oh, we got a shield barrier. Yeah, it's also kind of like Sonic the Fighters, if you guys remember that old game, where you have shields. And you have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five shields. Wow, I can't count today. But you have, Sonic starts out with five shields, and when they break, you don't have any more lines of defense anymore. We got ourselves a sun metal and some rings, but it's also really important to collect rings, even though you know they fill. Also, rings also refill your life, by the way. What's also important to grab rings because the more rings you get, increase your points. Now, I bet you're wondering, what does points do in a game like this? Well, points improve your rank at the end of the stage. So you're gonna want to. Oh, geez, that's right. Some of these are imposters. I mean, some of these have enemies in them. 
the blue coin. Bam! Bam! The good punch! No. Oh yeah, I love this. You can still beat the crap out of them even though they're dead. I'm not done with you. I'm gonna beat your dead body around now. Whoa. Well, and then he dies. Yeah. But the game definitely encourages exploration. If you want to find all the sun medals and... Oh. Sun medals. Oh, that was a music disc. Cool. But yeah, the game definitely encourages exploration if you want to find all the stuff. But also, you can see the... Holy heck of a game graph. That is loud as all heck. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. But as you notice, we have new types of enemies here. We now have egg bombs. Yeah, you definitely want to pick up all this experience because, little do you know, the Werehog has its own experience bars. And no, I didn't want to do that, Chip. The Werehog already has its own times, types of experience bars. For example, the Werehog has health, power. You know, you kind of get that kind of stuff. Well, as modern Son, modern Sonic, as daytime Sonic, only you know has speed and boost. Well, Werehog is more complicated, I guess you could call it. There we go. I was in trouble getting that one. Lol. Alright, ooh, let's collect those rings. Oh my gosh, we already have over a hundred. Yes, Chip, I think I know how to climb a pole. So, yes. We're gonna climb the pole. So, we're doing very well so far. Also, if you come back here, you can get a sun medal. And some, uh, stuffs. Some Dark Gaia. I'm just gonna call it Dark Eco from Jack and Daxter, because that's what they're ripping off. Dark Eco! Refills your unleashment! Alright. Well, I'm gonna save that unleash till the very end of the level, because it's gonna be very useful on the big guy. Yes, you have to fight the big guy at the end of the level. Spoilers! But anyway, yeah. Oh yeah, see that big ring over there? That is a... Big health ring, I guess you could call it. Oh, jeez, messed that up. Ah, la, 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 he kicked me in the face. Oh, jeez, oh, come on. I'm a fucking punch you. I'm a fucking punch you. I love that move. <laughs> Lol, I feel like I'm in a cartoon. No, no, Sonic, don't go through that door. Get the experience. Hit the experience. Sonic. Oh, jeez, I'm low on health. Did I collect that big ring? Oh, I went away. I actually really need it now. Let's go in here. Hopefully there's health. Yay, there are rings. And a sun metal. Sweet. But yeah, the only thing I kind of find sucky is that when you die, you lose all the rings you've collected. Oh, there's a health ring. <laughs> Meaning that, let's say you die. Your rings drop to zero. That's the only thing I have a beef with. Also, I'm not picking up that health ring because I don't need it. Also, well, I'm going to be trying to go for all the enemies because I want to get as much experience as I can. As little as it is, I want to get a lot of experience. Because, jeez, the camera's weird in this game. <laughs> Lol. I love doing that. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop because I'm probably giving you guys headaches. Alright, more rings! You also may notice there's this annoying, well, it's not really annoying, there's this music, jazz music that pops up whenever you're near enemies. You know, I'm not, I'm not even gonna do the combo thing, I'm just gonna kill him. Nope! Huh. Slap! I slap! I slap at you! Oh wait, that's right. Yep, I remembered. Ah, uh, this is gonna be such a fun and fun let's play, I can tell. Oh boy, this. I hated these sections for whatever reason. I would always fall in the water. Hey there! Talking punch! Let's do it, why not? Oh, never mind. Smack, 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 sm
<laughs> power! No, I'm kidding. That was a bad joke, Thomas. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, yeah, I remember. Got this is funny too. I remember. Smack, 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 smack. Oh my gosh, this game has so many fond memories. I think I'm gonna tear up. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm being all stupid and s silly with my commentary. I'm just very fond of this game. I remember it from my childhood. 2007 was a great year. I mean, I had some Mario Galaxy, this. Ah, so many fond memories. Alright, let's kill these guys so we can get past that barrier. Lol, it looks like just like the one in Spider-Man. Ha <laughs> ha! If you saw the, uh, 2099 levels. Okay. We're almost at the end of the level here. You just gotta get past all these guys. Yes, Chip, I already know. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so basically the gimmick of this area is you have to find the keys. What's up here? Just rings? Ooh. How do you get that? Okay, grab the ring, Sonic. Don't be derpy. Well, I have no idea how to get that. And don't worry, guys, this is not going to be a 100% Let's Play. So I'm not going to be going for all the medals. Ah, here's the red ruby thing. Also holding L2, I mean, left bumper, not left, left trigger and right trigger allows Sonic to do some sprint walking when holding stuff. Is this the thing? Oh, no, sun metal, cool. I'm trying to be careful with the, with the ones I open because they do have enemies inside some of these. Oh boy. Oh, there it is. Sweet! Pick it up. Put it back. Lol, fast walk and put the werehog. It looks funny. Alright. Ooh, yeah. And the door is open! Alright, guys. I'm back. I to step away for a second. Alright. Sneak attack. Watch out! Oh yeah, look at that nice big open platforming section. Come here, Eggbot. CX Fall! Woohoo! Alright. Oh god. I hate this part. Come on. Ha ah. ha ha. Don't worry, you don't die if you fall. Oh jeez. But that happened. But I think this is, personally, I think this is faster. You just won't be picking up any of those rings. Alright, oh, what the heck? Sonic? But yes, we got some platforming here, which is kind of cool how they introduced some platforming stuff. Now, so you may see the enemy. Well, if we go over to him, jump press circle. Ah, oh, dang it, I didn't do the jump right! Oh crap. Well, we just lost all the rings we collected in the level. And our unleash meter reset. Great. Just my luck. Oh jeez. So yes. We're almost at the end of the level. Right shield guy! Even though the shield can't help him. Fucking kick! Nice to get all that beautiful experience. Let's open up the door. The door. And we now will help free tails. Barrel, I don't trust you. Chink! 
Let's go fight! Alright. We're gonna try to take out some of these smaller guys. Oh, good job, dude. You're killing out your buddies. Come on. Yes. Give me all that dark eco and stuff. Give me all that experience, too. Alright, let's do this. Alright, now the gold ring appears, but don't get the gold ring because you don't, because this, you, it doesn't, black, can't speak, because you won't, then you won't get any of the experience. Yes, if you get the gold ring, all the experience goes away. So search the area. Oh, look, there's tails. Hi, tails. Lol. So let's collect our gold ring. And we got a B rank. Pretty nice for our first Warhog level. And we collected a lot, and I mean a lot of experience. So we can upgrade some stuff. So first of all, I'm gonna upgrade our life. I mean our combat, blah, our strength, and then life, and then a leash. And then I'm gonna save the rest for modern. I can't go. I keep wanting to call him Modern Sonic, blah. And then we'll save the rest for Day Sonic. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this extra long video. I'm going to have to cap it off in a couple of minutes. What are you doing out here? Sonic, is that really you? That's a new look. What happened? You know me. Never a dull moment. Want some chocolate? Uh, thanks. That's some story. I'll bet that means that you turning into that and the planet breaking apart are somehow related. I need to find Eggman and make him fix uh, this, uh, and uh, fast! About that, I think I know someone who might know something about what's going on here. Oh, really? Professor Pingle over at Spagonia University. I came to this city to gather some data. If we add that to his research findings, we might be able to get to the bottom of that. That's a continent over. An easy chalk if the planet weren't broken. No problem. My Tornado One will get us there in a flash. Let's get going. Leave it to you, Tails. Let's get moving. Alright guys, I'm going to have to end off this awesome video here. So next time, we will be taking on the X Tornado stage and going to Spagonia. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!